Let's talk EDIS for a minute. <clears throat> That's a factory Ford toothed wheel that has been bolted to a, uh, I think that's a Berg power pulley um, that I got off of eBay. The first time I did this, I it had a cheap power pulley on it when I started, and uh, I bolted it down, and, and I didn't get it down real good. And uh, it, it came loose a little bit, hit the sensor, which used to be mounted up here on this bracket, but now it's down bottom. It hit the, uh, the crank angle sensor and, and the wheel exploded and I ended up having to tow it home. So make sure you get those bolted down very tightly. Here's another view. You can see there's four bolts. Actually, there's five bolts uh, in, the, in the wheel holding it to the uh, flywheel. Now, nowadays, I've, I have a CNC plasma cutter, so I think I'm going to make something fancier. Okay, well, now that I'm looking at it, it's been a year or so. i got a scat pulley on there. Anyway, I'm going to see and see something a little better. Try to put, make a bigger diameter wheel basically and probably put it behind the pulley. The problem with the way I have it now is if you ever have to change this belt, the belt is trapped by the sensor, as you can see. Now the sensor mount down there is just right off of the oil pump bolts. I got make, them, make one that's very rigid. Um, this one up here out of eighth inch plate that's cantilevered off of uh, the... Uh, alternator tower there was not really rigid enough. So this one down here is hard to see, but it's got some bends and gussets on it. And it's all welded up, and it, it's very, very rigid. Um, and worry about your alignment. You know, the Trigger Wizard and uh, Mega Squirt can correct for a lot of sins in this respect, but uh, it's best if you get this thing aligned within a degree or two, I've found. Uh, it just makes the thing start up a little easier because your timing is in some way determined at start up without the Trigger Wizard, uh, amongst other things. Just get it right if you can. I did it all by hand on a drill press, you know, and was really careful, and I managed to get it within about a degree. Uh, so it's it's possible to do with homemade stuff uh, without fancy tools.